ESMO 2021, we saw exciting results from three studies in upper GI cancers. Firstly, Checkmate 649, looking at chemotherapy plus nivolumab and nivolumab and ipilimumab in advanced treatment naive gastroesophageal adenocarcinoma. The second, Destiny Gastric 02, showing the first results in Western patients for trastuzumab deroxtecan. And finally, a first trial looking at Cloudin 18.2 targeting CAR T cells in gastrointestinal cancers. Checkmate 649 was a large global randomized phase three trial in which patients with advanced treatment naive gastric GEJ and esophageal adenocarcinoma were randomized to three arms, chemotherapy alone, chemotherapy plus nivolumab, or an arm without chemotherapy containing nivolumab and ipilimumab. The results of the initial randomization for chemotherapy versus chemotherapy and nivolumab were first presented last year at ESMO 2020. And this year at ESMO 2021, we saw both an update of those results and the first presentation of the results of the chemotherapy versus nivolumab and ipilimumab comparison. The results of the longer term follow up for chemotherapy versus chemotherapy plus nivolumab showed a sustained positive result. The primary endpoint of Checkmate 649 was overall a progression free survival in patients with PDL1 CPS score of five or greater. And in this group, patients treated with chemotherapy plus nivolumab had over three months longer survival than patients treated with chemotherapy alone. Just last week, we had a European license for nivolumab plus chemotherapy for patients with untreated gastric GEJ and esophageal adenocarcinoma with a pdl one score of CPS5 or greater. So this is now a new standard of care for European patients. The results of the second part of Checkmate 649 were also presented. This was the chemotherapy versus nivolumab and ipilimumab combination. The primary endpoint for an improvement in overall survival for patients treated with nivolumab and ipilimumab in patients with pdl one CPS5 tumours was not met. However, crossing of the curves was observed, indicating an early detriment for some patients and a late advantage for others. The combination immunotherapy arm was closed early due to higher rates of chemotherapy treatment-related toxicity and early deaths. The response rate to nivolumab and ipilimumab was lower than that to chemotherapy at 27%, but for patients who did respond, the duration of response was encouraging at more than one year. Results for MSI patients were also presented. 70% of MSI patients had a response to nivolumab and ipilimumab, with median survival not reached, indicating that exploring combination immunotherapy for this group of patients might be helpful in future. HER2 targeted therapy with trastuzumab has become a standard of care in first line HER2 positive gastric cancer for the past 10 years since the TOGA study. However, until now, we've not had any effect of HER2 targeted therapy in second line. Last year, we saw the results of trastuzumab deroxtecan, which is an ADC targeting HER2 in Asian patients in Destiny Gastric 01. However, until now, we have no data for this new therapy in non-Asian patients. At ESMO 2021, Professor Eric Van Kutzen presented the results of the Destiny Gastric 02 study. This was a non-randomized phase two trial evaluating trastuzumab deroxtecan or TDXD in Western patients with previously treated HER2 positive gastric cancer. Importantly, patients needed to have retained HER2 expression to participate in the study. 79 patients were treated on study, and the primary endpoint of the study was response rate. A response rate of 38% was observed in patients treated on study, which is more than we might expect for second-line chemotherapy in this setting. Duration of response was more than eight months, which is also encouraging. In terms of toxicity, interstitial lung disease or pneumonitis has previously been observed with TDXD. This was not commonly seen in Destiny Gastric 02 and occurred in less than 10% of patients on study, the majority of which were low grade. In summary, this was a phase two trial which showed encouraging activity in Western patients and the global phase three randomized Destiny Gastric 4 trial will compare uh, TDXD to paclitaxel and ramacirumab in the second line setting, which may in future establish TDXD as a new standard of care. CAR 
our T cells have been very successful in hematological cancers, but until now have been challenging to establish in solid tumours due to on-target off-tumour toxicity. Claudin 18-2 is a protein which is generally expressed only on epithelial tight junctions, but which can become exposed in cancers, making it an ideal target as it is only expressed on tumour cells. Claudin 18-2 is overexpressed on around 40% of gastric cancers. Dr. Chi presented the results of a phase one trial in which 37 patients with previously treated tumours of the digestive tract of which 28 were gastric and GEJ tumours, were treated with CAR T cells engineered to target Claudin 18-2. After apheresis, patients were treated with bridging chemotherapy, followed by a myeloablative conditioning regimen, and then infusion of Claudin 18-2 targeting cells. This could also be repeated. Response rates to treatment were 49% in the entire population and 61% in gastric cancer and GEJ tumours. Progression-free survival was 5.5 months and overall survival was over nine months. The toxicities observed included cytokine release syndrome, which was mostly grade one and two, and the on-target effect of mucosal toxicity and GI blades. Clinical factors, including tumor histology and prior anti-PD-1 antibody, did not appear to predict better outcomes, but the CAR T-cell peak and CRS appeared to be correlated with progression-free survival. It's early days for CAR T-cells in solid tumors, and although the progression-free survival in this study is not equivalent to what's been seen in hematological cancers, the response rate and low level of toxicity are encouraging. We will need to see larger trials and trials in Western patients in order to fully evaluate the potential of Cloudin 18 to CAR T-cells for this patient group. Mm-hmm.